So today I am on my way up north to photograph the red deer rut. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. I've been in contact with the estate and they say it's been a little bit of a weird one this year so we're not sure how it's going to go. But I got some Trigopan gear with me. I'm going to put up a hide and go in there in the middle of the night. Be ready for it early in the morning. So I'm back up in the Highlands and if you want to know a bit more about it, you can check out the video that I made called How I Made This Image. One of my favorite red deer stag photos came out of that trip. You can see all the trees behind me here, they're turning yellow, it's October, the colors are popping everywhere and I'm lucky I get a chance to photograph the red deer rut. Stags everywhere up here. There's <laughs> a stag right up there. So close. I don't think it knows I'm here yet. Most of you won't know this, but I'm a pretty rubbish sitter. After about two minutes of sitting down, I'm either hunched over my desk or I'm slouched in my chair. Now, I never actually thought that a standing desk would be for me, but I can honestly say that after just a week of using the E7 Pro desk, I'm standing a lot more than I'm sitting when I'm working at my desk. The E7 Pro is electrically operated and goes low as 63.5 centimeters and as high as 129 centimeters. It's got a max capacity of 160 kilograms. It has a control panel where you can adjust the heights and it also has four memory presets that you can program. And built into it, there is a handy USB charging port. There's a cable tray underneath the desk and it comes with cable tape and clips to really organize the cable so it's out of the way and doesn't look so messy underneath comes with a solid wood top which is sustainably sourced and it does look really good. If you hurry up, you may be able to get some really good Black Friday deals. All right, I gotta get this hide up. I'd say this is a bit nerve wracking. The three stags just standing up there staring at me. I got loads of them out here. I can't even see all of them. I can just hear the roars. I have to go down there, put the hide up. Look at that sky. I have a dot on my map where I'm supposed to go. Down here somewhere. You hear that? This is incredible. <laughs> oh, they are right down here. 
Now this is getting a bit scary. I don't know if I want to walk right into them. They need to run away when they see me. If not, I'm going to run away. There's loads of them down here. That must be a big stag with this whole harem. Okay, here we go. They're on the move. <laughs> That's good. I mean, do what you're supposed to do. Run away, you're a herbivore. Okay, that is the Grouse V Plus with a little additional room in the back there, all set up. Listen, listen to this. Isn't that just the most amazing thing? All right, I got here just in time. That was a bit worrying. <laughs> I've never had so many stags around me and unwilling to move. All right, that's up. I'm gonna get back down before it gets dark. Just gonna pack this up and go. I'm gonna stop vlogging here now, and I'll see you back here tomorrow morning. It is about an hour and 30 minutes before sunrise. Now I'm walking up to the hide. See it over here. There's some stags up there. It was silhouetted. I had to just focus on the task. I really wanted to stop for a photo. But hopefully, I can get that from the line as well. It's been cold this morning. It was minus one. stunning morning though. That's the first time in autumn I've had minus degrees. I was sleeping in the van. It was quite cold to wake up. I still haven't seen any since I was walking up.
news tags going at it over there. What an experience. 